Welcome to the Dynon Channel, your video source for information, education, and training on Dynon Avionics' industry-leading line of integrated avionics for experimental amateur-built and light sport aircraft. Today's topic, Skyview System, changing the screen layout. In this video, I'd like to demonstrate how to quickly change the screen layout on your Skyview display. It's critical that you understand how to turn each of the three elements, primary flight display, engine, and map, again, how to turn those on and off uh, to reconfigure your screen for different phases of flight, to reposition them uh, in the relative positions of left, middle, and right, and to do that quickly uh, with confidence because you don't want to find yourself in a position in flight where you've inadvertently removed the flight instruments to display uh, that can be disconcerting particularly if you're in the clouds. Now to start with we're currently looking at Skyview's main menu button 1 is labeled PFD. Our focus for this purpose is on button 7 labeled screen. That is your entry into changing the screen configuration. I'm going to press that now and notice what happens when I do that. The menu changes, and notice that I have three gray buttons. Hopefully you've already learned this, but in the Skyview system, if a menu button is gray, that denotes an on-off feature, and gray is the on condition. Now pay attention to the labels on these three gray buttons. The first one says PFD page, primary flight display page. That refers to my flight instruments. The next button says EMS page, engine monitoring system page, it refers to my engine instruments, and similarly, map page refers to my map instruments. Now, a moment ago, I said that those denote on-off features, so you can imagine that if I press one of those buttons, it's going to toggle the, the associated screen page off. Let's do that now. Let's turn off the map page. I'll press the associated button, button 5. The, screen, uh, the, the menu button goes black, meaning that feature is now turned off, and notice that my map is no longer on display. Now notice as soon as I uh, uh, have turned that off, button 7 says layout. Uh, I would prefer that in this configuration with no map showing, I would like my engine instruments to be on the right and my flight instruments on the left. I do that by pressing the layout button. When I press it once, they swap positions. But this is a, essentially a rotary switch, and if I keep pressing it, you're going to see a pattern develop. When I press it one more time, ah, the engine is still on the right, but it's shrunk to 20% wide portion of the screen. If I press the layout button again, the engine page moves over to the left. It's still 20% wide. I press it again. We're back to where we started a few, minutes, a few moments ago. The engine is on the left, but it occupies 50% of the screen. Now I'm going to run through that again. Layout, 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 layout. You can see there's four possible combinations when I have just the primary flight display and engine on screen. I'm going to switch one more time so that I now have flight instruments on the left, 50% wide, engine on the right. Now let's restore the map page to view by pressing button 5. The map button turns gray, meaning that feature is on. The map reappears, and it's in its position on the right. Now let's turn the engine page off and see what happens. So pressing button 4 for EMS page, ah, the engine page disappears, the engine information disappears, and the engine page button goes black, meaning that feature is turned off. The layout button once again is active. Now watch what happens as I sequentially push the layout button in this configuration. Ah, the map shrinks not to 20% wide by, like the engine, but it shrinks down to 40% wide. It's on the right. Pressing it again, the map switches to the left side, it's 50% wide. Press the layout button again, the map shrinks to just 40% wide. And one more time, the map switches to the right. So I'll run through that sequence again, and you should see the pattern develop. And I'm back to where I started with the flight instruments on the left on half the screen, map page on the right in half the screen. Now what happens if I want to see only flight instruments? I can do that. I can turn off the map page, pressing button 5. Both EMS and map pages are turned off, and of course we see only flight instruments. Now can I turn off the flight instruments in this scenario? No, I can't. You'd th we think that's a bad idea to make your screen go completely black, 
So before I could remove the flight instruments, I would have to turn on either one of the other elements. Let's say I turn on map. Now I can turn off the primary flight display. And of course, the map occupies 100% of the screen. And I said you could do any combination of two or three of one, two or three of these items. So notice I can put the engine page on with the map. And again, I can cycle through the layout. You'll see a similar pattern as when the engine page was displayed together with the flight instruments. Now finally, let me put the primary flight display back on screen. Now notice what happens when I press the layout button this time. There's still a pattern. The pattern seems a little bit more complex because we're juggling the relative position of three items instead of just two. Basically, we start off with flight instruments on the left, engine in the middle, map on the right. The engine moves to the right. One more press puts the engine on the left, but notice that the map and primary flight display have switched positions. Pressing again, the engine goes to the middle, but the map is on the left. One more time, the engine moves to the right. The map is still on the left. And another time, engine on the left, the PFD switches back to the left of the map. And here we are back to our starting position. Now I want to show you how the system remembers your preferred layouts to, to reduce the number of button presses you need to make to change things. First of all, we're looking at flight instruments on the left, ends in the middle, and map on the right. Now let's assume that uh, when I'm flying the airplane, I like to have the engine all the way on the right so that the map is right in the middle next to my flight instruments. I'm going to accomplish that by pressing the layout button, and I've done that. Engine on the right, map in the middle, flight instruments on the left. Perfect. Now let's assume also that if I turn off the map, I don't, uh, I'm don't. i not sure where the engine's going to stay, so let's do that now. I'll turn off the map. Ah, the system has got the engine page on the right, but now in this case, when I don't have the map in display for some odd reason, I prefer the engine instruments all the way on the left. I'm going to do that now by pressing the layout button. Ah, perfect. That's familiar to me. Flight instruments here, engine on the right. Now what happens when I turn the map back on? The system remembers that when I have all three elements displayed, I prefer the engine on the right. If I turn the map off again, the system will again remember in that configuration I prefer the engine on the left. So again, just to review, in practice you'll define several screen layouts that you prefer to fly with and you'll rarely need to use the layout button. Most of your time spent on this screen menu will be simply turning the different screen pages on and off as, as you have need for them in flight. So I'll res restore back to my original configuration and button one takes me back to the main menu. So there you have it. That's a quick demonstration of changing the screen layout in Skyview. It's a very simple process. Uh, if you have any more questions, please refer to the Skyview Pilot User Guide or call our tech support staff. They're always eager, eager to help. So thanks for tuning in. For more information on planning or capabilities of the Skyview system, please see our website at dynonavionics.com where you can find links to our system installation guides, pilot user guides, and other valuable information like our user form. Thank you for watching the Dynon channel.